Hello and welcome to another edition of UFO Video Addicts. Let me give you a preview of what I got coming up in this video. Uh, the first is this uh, strange set of lights out of Russia. Got another video of um, a strange craft out over the waters in the Channel Islands of UK. Let's see, got this one out of France, OVN. I know it's French because the people are speaking French. <laughs> um, this here is Emery Smith interviewing Clifford Stone, I think this guy's name is. He talks about some of the abilities that the aliens he has encountered have. This is a video that, look at it, came out in 2008. This guy named Wilbert Smith. But um, he talks about this Project Magnet, which was, I think, just some research he did on people who were um, supposedly abducted by aliens or contacted by aliens. And uh, he discusses... Um, and, and you know he and UFOs uh, from the 1950s. So he uh, talks about his findings. This is a video that uh, of um, Mars in 4K. It's pretty. Um, let's see. Let me go. Yeah, check that out. But you know, one thing while I was watching this, you know, I just thought that these colors just don't look right. They, because you know, I mean, I, I mess around with uh, Photoshop a lot, so. I've um, applied different filters to, you know, my photographs. And I, I realized that, um, yeah, there's a whole lot of filters um, added to these images. And in, the, you know, in this video, the guy tries to say that it, that the uh, geologist can, you know, see more detail, which, uh, you know, that, that, that may be true. But I also think that they're trying to hide the fact that um, Mars atmosphere look, looks just like Earth. But uh, let me go on to this next article here. This is from the Black Vault. Flying saucer from Denmark, UFO debris, photo circa 1947. This is about some guy who um, saw a UFO zip away and just before it zipped away it dropped um, these objects on the ground so he picked it up. He's had it ever since but apparently it matches um, some photos of uh, that the government had in Denmark. I think it was, yeah. In Denmark which uh, looked very similar. Let's see. And then last, I have this article here about uh, the U.S. government brought down UFO craft with bodies inside. It says, it says FBI doc. This is actually from uh, former Canadian Defense Minister Paul Hellyer claimed that the protocol when military jets were scrambled to intercept the UFO was to shoot first and ask questions after. Yeah, I don't, you know, that's kind of, I mean, how stupid I just can't believe that our military leaders could be that stupid, but I, you know, I do know that it, it went on and, um, you know, they, they retaliated by knocking down our passenger crafts, which is why there was a huge increase in, um, passenger crafts being, or uh, crashing in the fifties. So anyways, uh, let me go on to, uh, this video here. This is a UFO sighting in Kants. Kants is in Russia. I had to look that up. But uh, check this thing out here. An unidentified object. Eyewitnesses have confirmed that the object periodically turned over, but we cannot observe it on the video. However, we may notice that they are located at a distance at the edges. Put the video on pause and write your opinion. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's, I think, one, two, three, four, five. Is this just one object with just lights that are spinning? But it had the shape of a saucer. It was seen by... Yeah, I think this is, I think this is one object. And uh, it's just the lights that are spinning, or these are the lights on it. But anyways, I don't want to play uh, this whole video. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. You can check it out. Please visit this guy's channel. Well, let's check this one out here. This is in the Channel Islands in UK.
I think that's just a nice zoom shot. But let me just jump ahead real here real quick and see if this thing zips away. I don't think so. No, I don't think it's going to zip away. But, you know, I mean, how often do we have to see these things over the ocean, coming out of the ocean, going into the ocean, you know, before we realize, look, it's most likely because uh, they're coming back home or they're leaving, you know, to go do something just like uh, we do. Our planes take off and land. Why wouldn't theirs? So let's see. This one is uh, French. Listen to these guys speak French. Like, I don't speak French, but I bet you they're going, what is that? What is that? It's a light. Do you see this? Look at that. What is it? I know one thing they're not saying is uh, put that thing on a tripod. Uh, anyways, uh, let me go on to this next video here. Uh, this is um, Emery Smith talking to, I think this is Clifford Stone, but um, he talks about uh, some of the abilities that these um, aliens that he has encountered have. Let me uh, play just a little bit of this. Remember, and at the same time, everything I see, like I'm going through my documents, they see one instance was that I had contact with some people who they look very much like you and me, very normal. Uh, we we talked and they had talked about things. And I was wondering, gee, where did they get all their knowledge about certain things about about space, about our solar system, the manipulation of space time? And they finally told me that we're not from your planet. But we were trying to learn from interaction with people like you and even others, that you know something strange about us. Well, yeah, I knew when we turned the lights off and they could go ahead and touch something and they could tell you the color of that object. Then they'd go into detail explaining about the reflection of light actually determines the color of something, but the vibration of the uh, object or whatever also will reflect the color when there's no light to reflect the color. Wow, that's interesting to hear what he said. He said the vibration of something will indicate the color if there is no light. And I think that's very interesting. Yeah, I can't play too much of this because I know Gaia, they'll they'll hit me with a uh, copyright violation. They've done it a, many, many times whenever, you know, I just play a little, little clip of their videos. But anyways, um, I will leave a link in the description so that, um, you know, definitely check out um, what uh, Clifford Stone has to say. Very interesting. Yeah. And you know, he's, he's the guy that also at the uh, disclosure project talks about um, how our government has categorized 57 different species of aliens and over 70 different types of crafts that have uh, visited the planet. Um, and that, you know, he talks about how they have different levels of uh, technology, different levels of intelligence and things like that. So um, very interesting. Yeah. If you uh, want to hear more about, um, about the different types of aliens, uh, do a do a YouTube search for uh, 57 species. So let me, uh, let's see, go on to this video here. Yeah, this is some guy, this is uh, from 2008. Actually, I have never ever heard of this uh, Project Magnet, but uh, let's just hear what this guy has to say. There is a 91% probability that at least some of the sightings are a real object of unknown origin. There is about 60% probability that these objects are alien vehicles. That is, alien, meaning not a earthly fabrication. You see, he, he said that it's a 60% probability that they are alien, not of Earth. So I wonder why, you know, it wasn't a 100% probability. You know, so there's still, you know, according to these people in the 1950s, they felt that there was a 40% chance that these crafts could be, you know, from, from Earth. The conclusion is based on studies of the basic physical concepts were as follows. Many of our fundamental concepts are inherently ambiguous 
can play the different philosophies then we build up on the alternatives. Several of these alternatives lead to much simpler arithmetic and presentations which do not have to resort to patchwork corrections to make them all invasive. Furthermore, some of our ideas with respect to fears and their behavior are wrong. Recent project magnet activities have dealt with following up any and all leaps. Many of these leaps were dead ends, but a few were quite significant and well worth the overall effort. At the present time, a definite pattern is emerging, and the groundwork is being laid for a new technology which may literally lead us to the stars. And I have signed this report and have offered it to a number of publications who wish to clarify the status of Project Magnet. One of the results of the publicity which Project Magnet received was that I received a large number of communications from people all over the world. Of course, quite a number of these communications were definitely of a prank or sackcloth class, but I did take the time and trouble to follow up every one which looked the least bit promising. And as a result, I did establish a number of connections which I found most profitable. Quite a number of people, a surprising number in fact, claim to have made contact with the space people in one way or another. In following up the leads, I tried not to let these people know of the existence of any other group which had made contact, but I tried to act as a clearinghouse for the information which was funneled in to me. Yeah, I want, see, I wonder um, how he got the word out, how um, all of these people, like he said, from all over the world knew to inform him of their encounters, you know, their alien or UFO encounters back in the 50s. And then how did they keep it quiet for so long? Because like I said, I have, I have, this is the, my first time hearing anything about this uh, Project Magnet. But um, yeah, I don't want to play this entire video, but uh, definitely, you know, the audio is not the best for sure, but um, I'll leave a link in the description, so uh, check it out. Let's see. Yeah, this is just um, some incredible 4K footage. Let me make sure this is that, yeah, of, uh, of, the, of Mars taken by uh, the rover. I mean, some you know, some of the, the, this this terrain would look no different than. In order to create a video like this, several images must first be stitched together to create a mosaic or panorama, depending on how many images are. You know, like I was saying before, um, when I whenever I play with uh, some of my filters on some images in Photoshop. This is this is what I get, you know, when, when I um, apply a filter to uh, one extreme. You know, you, you you get this this unnatural, very, um, I guess, contrasty type of uh, differences between, you know, like like the shadow and this. Yeah, this isn't this isn't natural, and you know, the the, the guy does say that they you know they did apply like i said so that geologists could see more detail which i mean I, I guess i could buy that but um i've also you know been told that a lot of times they do manipulate uh these images of, of mars because um mars has an atmosphere that looks just like earth i mean one time nasa did you know um mess up i, I mean i don't know if they did it on purpose but they did uh, use a background of a photo that didn't have any filters applied, and, and the sky was blue. And, and, and you know, like the, the mountains back here looked brown like, like they would on Earth. I mean, you know, again, unless they were using a fake Earth image for Mars, but, you know, I don't think they were doing that. I think they just, they forgot to apply the filters. But, uh, yeah, this is a very interesting um, video, you know, um, 
yeah, like here, even like this photo, I, I can just, yeah, I'm, I am not a Photoshop expert. I, you know, I can acknowledge that, but even with my half trained eyes, I'm like, I'm sure, you know, not, I mean, I, I think I use Photoshop more than the average person, but I'm definitely by no way a Photoshop expert, but even just with my untrained eye, I can see that, um, that there's an, there's a, a, a filter applied here. This is, this is not, this is not natural. Yeah. The, the way the, 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 the colors should blend is yeah, this is not natural at all. This is some type of filter applied. And like I said, they, they're claiming it's to, um, to bring out the details in the rocks, but I think it's to, uh, to hide, uh, Mars atmosphere. But anyway, that's just, uh, my personal opinion. Uh, let's see, let me go to this, uh, other article here. This is a flying saucer from Denmark, UFO debris photo circa 1947. Now, let me just get down to the place where they talk about, um, here it is. Bob had a UFO experience back in 1985, which resulted in a fragment of the craft that zipped off into the sky during the encounter to fall to the ground. Bob had recovered that piece and had it ever since. After posting these documents on the Black Vault in the 1990s, Bob, along with Larry Kakander, partner in the UFO Heart Evidence Research Project, reached out to introduce themselves. They told me they had a piece of material from a UFO encounter that looked identical to the debris found in the photos from the Army and the photo labeled Flying Saucers of Denmark. So these are the uh, images of these objects. This is what Bob White found. I don't know if they look the same. I mean, maybe because this is a copy. But this definitely looks alien. And, um, you know, I think I've seen a lot of those uh, videos where it does seem like, you know, like these UFOs are ejecting some type of waste product. And, you know, maybe this is it. But uh, it looks very, very, uh, looks definitely looks uh, alien. So anyways, I'll put the link to this in the description. Let me go to this last article here. UFO government brought down ET craft with bodies inside, says FBI doc. Former Canadian Defense Minister Paul Halyard claimed that the protocol when military jets were scrambled to intercept a UFO was to shoot first and ask questions after. Last year, Pentagon UFO program astrophysicist Eric W. Davis confirmed retrieval of off-world vehicles not made on this Earth. Apollo 13 astronaut Edgar Mitchell once told the world, yes, there have been crashed craft and bodies recovered. Numerous stories suggest that multiple governments have been successful in bringing down UFO craft in an attempt to find out more about them and reverse engineer them ever since the 1941 Cape Goudreau UFO crash and the two Roswell UFO crashes in 1947. Former Air Force officer and U.S. Atomic Energy Commissioner Colonel Ross Diedrichson blamed the Roswell crashes on the disruption in the magnetic field caused by the detonation of nuclear weapons in the region, crippling the UFO craft's navigation system. Yeah, you see this here? This article talks about, you know, um, the disruptions in the magnetic field caused by the detonation of nuclear weapons. Like, like I've said before in my other videos, I think that's the reason why um, there were so many uh, nuclear bombs uh, tested in you know, those particular reason, regions around the globe. I don't, you know, I don't think they were, you know, I mean, they claimed they were testing, but I mean, how many nuclear bombs do you have to blow up before you, know, you, you get the results, right? I mean, you blow up one bomb, you get all the necessary readings you, you need. I mean, okay, I can understand maybe doing it three, four, maybe five times, but our government, along with uh, Russia's government, you know, blew up thousands of nuclear bombs. And again, I, I, I don't have to be a scientist to know that you don't have to do, you know, blow up a nuclear bomb a thousand times to, to get the results. So I believe that, um, they were blowing up those nuclear bombs in order to, like, you know, like this document says, to bring down these, um, 
these UFOs. And again, and I don't think they're all coming from um, uh, from different planets. I mean, I'm sure they're going out to different planets, but you know, if our government is able to target, you know, uh, these crafts, because you know, you've seen the videos how fast these things move. That means our government knows where they're coming in and where they're going, and they're waiting. They're setting them up. But anyways, uh, that is going to be it for this video. Um, all the links will be in the descriptions. Uh, if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share this video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'll have more things like this. Take care.